Happening right now, Kwame Kilpatrick and his co-defendants are back in federal court. And once again, the Civic Fund is under fire from the feds in this federal corruption trial. We are live downtown outside federal court. 7 Action News investigator Ross Jones has been covering this trial since day one. And Ross, I understand Kilpatrick lashed out over the weekend? He did. He lashed out on Twitter over the weekend saying that his civic fund should not be called a charity. He says it's really a political fund. Well, today we heard from four donors to the civic fund who said they wrote checks because they thought the fund had nothing to do with politics. Let's get you caught up on those witnesses today. Those four donors all said they were asked for their donations. They didn't offer them on their own. And all four had business with the city at the time they wrote those checks. The checks ranged from $2,000 to $20,000. But would they have written those checks if they knew that the money would be used for things like yoga lessons, summer camp, rubdowns and facials for the mayor and his family. That's what federal prosecutors asked the donors, and they all said no, they would not. Now, Kilpatrick's lawyer was quick to argue that all nonprofits have overhead expenses like fundraising and salaries, and that these were legitimate expenses that kept the nonprofit alive. We also saw a familiar face testify today, crisis manager Judy Smith, who the mayor hired in 2008 at the height of his text message scandal. She said she was hired by Kilpatrick to help manage his crisis and was paid $180,000 by the Kilpatrick Civic Fund. She said, though, that she did no work for the fund. She only worked on behalf of Kwame Kilpatrick. Now, just before I came out here today, we heard from a golf club salesman who said that he had sold Kwame Kilpatrick $3,000 worth of golf clubs, very high-end golf clubs, including a golf bag that was embroidered with the mayor right on it. Some very high-end stuff that was paid for, you guessed it, by the Kilpatrick Civic Fund. We are live blogging at WXYZ.com if you want to follow along with all the testimony. Reporting live from federal court, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you.